If cross-legged position is a bit difficult, you can either use a cushion to support your, your knees or you can just come into a uh, onto your knees, whatever's whatever's easy for you. In our cross-legged position, our palms are just going to be resting on our knees to the ground and we're just going to gently close our eyes. And again, we're going to just bring our awareness to our breath and finding that connection. I don't know if you can hear the soundtrack that I've got on, but um, it's a recording of different sounds of this, this sacred place in India called Vrindavan. So as you follow your breath, you may even transport yourself to India, to this holy place. Find yourself in these sunny, full of green, Enchanting face and just keep your attention on your breath. Do a few cycles together. So breathing in and breathing out. This time we place our left palm to our chest and our right palm to our belly. This time when we take a deep breath in, I just want you to bring your awareness to the first, the first breath in as you feel the air go through your nose, down your throat, expand your chest, expand your heart open and feel your belly fill. So you feel your chest go up and out. So we're going to take a breath in together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Again, another big yogic breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Okay. So we bring our palms together and bring them to our chest dropping our elbows. The other day our, our goal was intention. Today I thought a nice practice would be gratitude. So with that in mind, I thought we could all take this time just to think of one, one act of gratitude. So whether it's a person, something that's happened, just holding that, that thought close to you and close to your heart. When we practice gratitude, have a more happy and a more satisfying yoga practice today. Coming back to the breath. We'll slowly open our eyes. And with our next exhale, releasing our fingertips down to the floor. So welcome back to the yoga challenge with Casey Sock. Um, we're going to just start by taking a big deep breath in, flipping our palms to the ceiling and with our breath we're just going to inhale, raising our arms all the way to the ceiling, slowly and with control and in line with our breath. We're dropping our shoulders down, we're not clenching, we've got this nice relaxed shoulder blade. Now we're reaching our fingertips all the way to the ceiling. Really feel that stretch. You can even just do some wrist rotations here. Perfect. Taking a few breaths in and out. 
in and on your next exhale slowly release your palms dropping them down to the mat Let your fingertips touch the ground and we're just going to take a deep breath in and as we take a deep breath in we're going to slowly walk our fingertips all the way back. Great. Walking them all the way back and we're opening our chest so we're rolling our shoulder blades should be all the way back. Almost like you can hold a pencil between your two shoulder blades. Your chest is open, your heart is open, and here you might struggle to actually take a deep breath in. So if you're shaking, no problem, but just really try with me. Take the biggest breath that we've taken all day in and we'll fill our lungs all the way up with some fresh, fresh air. So taking a deep, big, big breath in. And out. Done. And in. And this time we're just going to walk our fingertips back to centre on our next breath out. Excellent. So we're just going to waken up our side bodies and stretch our side body before we begin. So on our next inhale, we're going to flip our left palm up to the ceiling. Inhaling, raising it up to the ceiling. And then as we exhale, our right palm is going to touch the ground. And we're going to bend up the elbow. And as we exhale, we're just going to stretch over. Stretching that right, the left side, sorry, of our body. We're feeling that stretch from all the way from the fingertip all the way down to the hip. Our chest is open, our rib, rib cage is, our inner rib cage is hugging in. Breathing in and out. Feeling that stretch along that one side of the body. Maybe even wriggling your fingertips here, really stretching your feet be part of this side out. Perfect. And on our next inhale, slowly and gently, we're just going to rise to centre. Exhaling, we're going to release that palm down. Perfect. Let it rain down. Again, to the other side. Left palm onto the mat. Right palm flipping it up to the ceiling. Inhaling, raising it up to the ceiling. Taking a big deep breath in. Exhaling, bending at the elbow, stretching all the way over. Our um, arm is parallel to our ear. And we're stretching our right side of the body all the way from the right hip crease, all the way then to the fingertips. And we're reaching our heart to the ceiling. Coming back to your breath and just really appreciating this morning stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. And on our next inhaling, our next inhale, we're going to rise to centre. So we're pushing away from the ground, raising our arm to the ceiling. Exhaling, we're bringing our palm back to the centre back to the ground. Perfect. Great, so we're going to get into tabletop position. We've done this for a few days now, so let me just So tabletop position, our knees are just below our hips, tops of our feet onto the mat, and our palms are below, just a little bit wider than our shoulder blades. So we're just going to find neutral spine. We're going to draw a nice line between our crown of our head and our tailbone. So a nice neutral spine. And in order to do this really, we actually also have to be conscious and engage our core into this position. So it looks easy, but there's a lot of, um, there's 
a lot of awareness in different parts. You've got awareness in your feet, your core, your palms, your shoulder blades. And we're just going to warm up our back by doing some cactical poses. So we're going to take a deep breath in. As we inhale, we're going to drop our belly down. Open our chest and look straight up to the ceiling. Good. Tailbone is nice and high. Exhaling, we're bringing our navel up. Our tailbone lengthens and it drops. Take a big deep breath out. We're pressing onto the tops of our feet. We're pressing onto our palms. Pushing our weight away from the ground by pushing the tops of our feet and the navel as high as we can. Inhaling, slowly dropping our belly, opening our chest. And we're doing this in line with our breath, so no fast, quick, jerky movements. Nice, slow and in rhythm. Good, perfect. Pushing onto the tops of our feet, and our palms, taking a big deep breath out, we're going to come back up, navel in, and we feel our tailbone lengthen, great, okay, one more time, inhaling in, seeing if we could get our heart centre a little bit high this time, a little bit more open. Lifting our navel up and dropping our tailbone down. Keep it and coming back into neutral spine. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to widen the distance between our two palms. Um, we're going to make sure that we're spreading our weight evenly onto the mat. We're going to uncurl our toes in the mat and we're going to get ready to go into down facing dog. So as we inhale, Exhaling, we're going to push our weight onto our palms, onto the tops of uh, the toes of our feet, and we're going to push our hips up and back. So we're lengthening through our arms. We're not, um, we're dropping our shoulder blades away from our ear, and we're pushing our heart centre to the floor. So our heels might not be touching the floor. Mine are barely touching actually this morning, <laughs> being a little bit tight. And um, that's okay. We can either just pedal or let them drop. Let them just feel a little bit heavy. They don't have to touch. Perfect. I feel like when we pedal, it just really loosens our body up in this asana. I mean, like, down with these and dog, you just got to own it. <laughs> Make it your own. It's like, I don't know, it just feels really good in this pose. I don't know if you guys are feeling it too. Just, it's a good stretch. Okay, great. And we're just going to inhale, straightening up through our legs now, making them nice and straight. And as we take our next exhale, try to get a little bit deeper into that pose. So as our heels come a little bit closer to the ground, feel a little bit more stretch now. And on our next inhale, we're actually just going to raise our right foot. So we're coming into three-legged dog. We're finding that balance. Inhaling, we're slowly with our breath, lifting our foot up. Our toes are flexed towards the mat. Our left leg is nice and straight. And we're using um, we need to kind of like our butt muscles and our core to lift that leg, not our hips. So we're not overstretching it there. Few breaths in and out here. Find that balance. Find that that, that stretch there. And as we exhale, we're just going to bend our knee, and we're going to bring our knee to our chest and hug it close. Um, if you can't find this sort of balance here, then you can just drop your foot. But if you're hugging it to your chest and taking a few deep breaths in and out. Perfect. On our next inhale, we're going to push our legs up to the ceiling and raise it up again. Back into a three-legged dog. 
and on our next exhale we're bringing it in between our palms and it might take a couple of steps to get there but yeah we're placing our right foot in between our palms and we're actually just going to drop our back knee our left knee we're going to uncurl the toes good and we're uh, we've got this 90 degree stretch uh, angle in our front knee and uh, yeah, we're not overstretching here with the lower lunge, we've, we've got that balance there. Here we are going to just curl our toes in onto the mat again. Inhaling, we're going to sweep the mat and raise our arms up to the ceiling. Excellent. I always feel like this is a nice graceful dance move, like sweep and raise. You just feel graceful in this pose. Um, empowered, we're reaching up, kind of like surrendering here. Taking a few deep breaths in and out. If you feel comfortable and we've done, I think this is, we've done four days together, you can raise that knee as well. And we go really deep into that pose and then raising the arms there. Taking a few breaths in and out. And on our next exhale, dropping the hands slowly, sweeping the ground, placing the palms by our feet. Taking a big breath in, out. We're just gonna raise our left knee and bring our right foot into plank. So with plank, our heels are being pushed away from the mat. We're kind of pushing um, engaging our core here, making sure that there's a line um, between a straight line in our in our spine. If you don't like plank too much, then just drop your knees and go into half plank if it's a bit too much pressure on your wrist. Um, but if you can, try plank. And we're going to take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're going to transition into down dog, raising our hips, dropping our heels. Excellent. Inhaling, raising our left leg up to the ceiling, doing the same three-legged dog. Okay. Maybe, oh. Maybe just rotate our ankles here without knocking down a bookshelf like I'm about to. Excellent. Exhaling. On our next breath out, we're going to bend our knee and bring our knee to our chest. We're about to start a race. Excellent. Inhaling, raising that left leg back up to the ceiling. Exhaling, spring it in between your palms. You might need to step there twice. Dropping that back knee. And I'm curling the toes. Excellent, we're coming into the mood. We can see the tops of our toes. I think that's like the main reason that we know that we're not overstepping, our knees not covering our toes there. And uh, I'm going to just curl the toes back onto the mat. Or you can press into the tops of the feet. Let's keep our toes uncurled on this one actually. Inhaling. Sweeping the mat in a little grace, graceful dance move and raising our arms up to the ceiling and just raising our heart center up. Just opening the chest. Perfect. Good. And again, option here to lift that back knee up if we're feeling comfortable um, to really dive deep into that lower lunge. I'm going to keep my knee on the floor. If you feel comfortable on the floor, keep it on the floor too. Our attention is in our back foot. So we're pressing onto the top of our back foot to kind of keep that balance there. And pressing onto the toes of our, into the palm of our left foot as well, at the top of our mat. Good. Let's take a few cycles of breath here together. So breathing in and out. In and when we breathe out, slowly releasing our palms down to the mat there. Excellent. By our feet. So we're just going to curl the toes back onto the mat, taking a deep breath in. Exhale. We are bringing our left foot to meet our right foot. 
into planks. Our feet are together, heels pressing away from the mat. We're engaging our core, letting it sink. We're engaging our neck. Remembering our neck is part of our spine. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale, transition to downward dog. Raising our hips up and back. Trying to gather chest a little bit lower to the ground this time. Shoulder blades are pushing away from our ears. And we're not clenched in downward dog. We're not sort of clenched at the neck. We're making sure that we've unclenched. And there should be plenty of movement with our neck. Good. I'm going to just pedal. Just stretch out where it might have been a little bit tight in that lower lunge. Inhaling, looking towards the top of your mat. Exhaling, either hopping or slapping towards the top of your mat. Okay, great. We're coming into forward bend here. So we're just letting, letting our body sink heavy. Letting gravity do its course. Just become heavy. Good. Inhaling. We're going to just rise up and raise our arms, unfold our body, come all the way up. Excellent. Good. So just stretching towards the top. Inhaling. Exhaling, folding forward. Great. Keeping that back nice and straight. So we're going to inhale and then put our left, sorry, right foot back and then we're going to bring our left foot back so we're back into plank. So do you remember me telling you that the pose today was Bhujangasana? So we're going to learn how to, to do that pose um, and in order to get into that pose we're going to just hug our elbows in, squeeze our elbows into our body and lower our body to the ground. If you can come into Chaturanga, that's fine, if not. Just lay your body flat onto the mat. Good. So here we've got our tummy flat onto the mat. The tops of our feet are touching the mat and our legs. For beginners, we create some distance between your um, create some distance between your feet. If you've done yoga before, actually try challenging yourself to see how close you can keep your ankles together in this pose. Um, our palms are going to come beside our chest. And our thumbs are going to be pointing. So give me a good thumbs up and then point them towards your chest. Palms flat onto the mat. Great. And uh, we're just going to exhale. As we exhale, we're just going to lower our chest to the floor. Um, our chin or forehead touching the mat. Excellent. So when we are coming into Cobra, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to squeeze the elbows to our body. Hug them close to our body. I'm actually going to be pressing onto the tops of our feet um, and that's, and we're using our spine to, and the muscles in our back to actually, to actually um, get into the pose. We're not actually using our palms or our hands. So I think we'll just start by inhaling, exhaling, on our next inhale. We're going to press into the tops of our feet, lower and um, raising our forehead, our chin, our neck, and lastly our chest. Right, excellent. So we should be actually using and pressing into our torso, pressing into the tops of our feet, You're using the muscles in our back. Our hands should be doing very little at this point. So a little test, I want everyone to just maybe do it handless, armless, you should be able to create this nice, um, this nice raised chest, or even if it's not the whole of your chest right now, even if it's that, whatever you can get off, it should be using the, the muscles of your lower back. Good. And then inhaling, we're going to press into the tops of our hands, and that's where we get into the cobra pose. Excellent. And it takes time to get this height off. If you're just here, and you've literally just got your chest, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable. The main thing is, is that we're engaging 
the right parts of our body. Um, and to know that we're doing cobra properly, again, you shouldn't be clenched. You should have plenty of movement in your, in your neck to be able to roll your neck and have lots of space. Great, and that was challenge two, the cobra pose, and we did really well. We're all experts in Bhujangasana now, so we can take that one off. As we exhale, we're folding forward. So we're slowly, firstly, bringing our abdomen to the mat, then our chest, chin, and then forehead. Perfect. Good. As we inhale, we're going to come into Pankikam. Excellent. I'm going to take a few breaths here. Hand out. Good. And let's just come lower our body down. So we're going to take a, take a, a big deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to lower our body down. And we'll just do one more cobra together. So uncurling the toes, inhaling, pressing into the tops of our hands, squeezing our body, our elbows into our body raising our forehead, our chin and our chest off the ground, straightening through the elbows as much as you can, coming into elbow. Maybe you can bring your feet a little bit closer together this time, maybe not. You're all doing really well. Good. Stay here super asanam, which means when we're steady and comfortable in this yoga pose, then we understand yoga. <laughs> So where I was comfortable, that's why I always say be comfortable, I'm not just saying that. Good. And exhaling, lowering our body, so our tummy, our chest, our chin to the floor. Excellent. And I'm going to just take a deep breath in and come into plank again. Good. Inhaling, exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, exhaling here. Inhaling, looking straight towards the top of your mat. Exhaling, jumping forward. Exhaling. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come and sit onto our mat. Perfect. So we're straightening through our legs, flexing our toes up to the ceiling. Now I want everyone to remove their, um, the weight underneath their, their glutes there because we're just going to do a spinal twist. Um, so we're going to get a little bit twisty, a little bit turny, um, but bear with me and try to use my voice to guide you here. So we're going to do a half spinal twist, and I think it's really important, especially if we're not going out much, to really um, sort of increase the flexibility in our spine, twist it, because we're probably spending a lot of time on our phones, um, on our laptops, on our desks, and we're only allowed one walk a day. So we're going to open up our spines together. So we're going to take a big deep breath in and exhale. We're going to bend our left, sorry, right knee. So we're going to bend our right knee. And we're going to place our right foot right by our left knee. Yeah, so we're following me so far. We're then going to cross our right foot over our left knee. So I told you it's going to get a little bit twisted, a little bit turning. You're going to bear with me. And now, we're going to bring our left foot and we're going to place it, so we're going to bend it at its knee, we're going to place it as close to our sit bone as possible, so however close you can get it. You can use your hand to help bring it close. So we're going to try drop our left knee, that should be as close to the ground as possible. And our right foot, our right foot is close to our left knee. And our left foot, we're trying to get as close to our sit bone. Going straight in through our, our spine, getting ready for the pose, and maybe rolling our shoulder blades back. Excellent. And we're going to take a deep breath in, raising our left palm up to the ceiling. As we exhale, we're going to rotate and twist our body to our right. Good. So our right palm is either touching the mat for support, and our left palm is pushing against our, our right knee. So we've come into half spinal twist. You can really feel that twist in your spine. 
So you're using either, if you've done this pose before, you can then put your right palm behind your back so you don't need the support of the, of the mat. Or if it's your first time, just using the mat to help guide you. So our, our gaze should be over our shoulder. We might not be all the way back just yet. We might be at 45 degrees and that's okay. With every exhale, see if you can get a little bit further. So every exhale, you push your elbow against your knee and you're looking over your, your shoulder a little bit further and you're coming, you're rotating a little bit more to the right. You're trying to open up the chest as much as possible here. Good. Taking a big deep breath in. Exhale, see if we can rotate a little bit more. So our left elbow should be pressing against our right knee sort of open that chest out there. Excellent. We're strengthening our spinal nerves. And once you've actually learnt this pose, it's really good um, if you've done a few hours of work to actually do this for a minute each side to, to open up that chest. Good. Taking a deep breath in. And on our next exhale, we're going to slowly walk our fingertips back towards our sides, rotating our body with us. Good. Releasing our left palm to the mat. Uncrossing our right foot. And then bringing both feet to the top of our mat, flexing our toes. Awesome. So we're going to twist out the other side. Um, so we're just going to bend our left knee this time, placing our left knee by our, so placing our left foot by our right knee, and we're going to bring our left foot over our right knee. We're then going to bend our right knee, so bringing our foot as close to our sit bone as possible. So our left foot should be by our right knee, and our right foot by our sit bone. This time we're inhaling, we're raising our right arm to the ceiling and as we exhale we're twisting our body to the left, half spinal twist to the left side. Excellent. Our left palm is going to be either gently uh, fingertips on the ground behind it or behind our back. Our right arm is going to be pressing against our knee and as we inhale and exhale, we're going to try to get a little bit deeper into the spinal twist. We might just be here, and that's fine. 45 degree. We can get all the way to look over our shoulder towards back. That's also good. We're just whatever we're doing, we're just trying to get a little bit deeper, a little bit more rotated with every exhale. Even if it's just a small minor minor movement. And like I said, it's stay here super asana meaning we're happy and we're steady in this pose. And we should feel really relaxed. Taking a big deep breath in and out. In and out. So you're noticing we're actually stretching one side of our body and we're compressing the muscles on the other so we get two benefits. We're massaging some organs and we're stretching some others. Excellent, we're here not for that much longer. Good. Great. Inhaling, exhaling, walking our fingertips to the sides of our body, slowly rotating our body forward, releasing our right palm to the side, uncrossing our foot and bringing our right foot to the tops of our mat and our left foot there. <coughs> well done. So let's just come onto our backs. <coughs> and we're going to bend our knee and bring them as close to our sit bone as possible. Okay. And I want everyone to put their hands or palms underneath their head like a pillow. You're creating yourself a little pillow, a little headrest there. We're going to inhale, and as we inhale, um, as we take our next breath out, sorry, 
gonna raise our body off the floor, our hips off the floor, coming into half wheel. So we're gonna take a deep breath in together and exhale, releasing our body off the floor, our hips. So there might be some distance between your feet, whatever's easy for you to press, press your body against away from the ground. So we're pushing with every exhale, we're pushing your body out, up further to the ceiling, our hips. How, how high can we get them this morning? And a variation, because I've done this the last three days, a variation is to come in onto your toes to see if we can get a little bit of balance, a little bit of toning there in the legs. A little bit more of a challenge. Great. Coming back to the to the feet if you're on your toes. Another variation is just to inhale. I'm just going to raise our foot, our right foot up to the ceiling. Exhaling, bringing it down. Inhaling, raising our left foot up to the ceiling. Exhaling, bringing it down. Inhaling, breathing our hips up a little bit higher. Exhaling, releasing the pose, bringing our hips all the way down. Our back is nice and flat onto the mat. And spreading our knees down to the ground, the soles of our feet together. We're coming into sleeping butterfly, sleeping totally. Just want to bring your left palm onto your chest and your right palm onto your belly and just close your eyes and bring it back to your breath. And just relaxing your body now. Acknowledging what parts of your body were stretched a little bit challenged today and maybe because our goal was gratitude actually just saying thank you to them and being grateful that they allowed you to cooperate in this yoga practice don't be too harsh on yourself if you felt that you couldn't get into something as easily as you hoped stillness, finding serenity, excellent, releasing your palms by your side. Gently rolling, rolling onto your right side of your body and using your left palm to bring you all the way up. Coming into cross leg position, palms to chest, keeping your eyes closed, remembering, remembering your gratitude and actually keeping this gratitude throughout your whole day today because I promise you you'll feel a little bit calmer and a little bit happier. Raising your palms up to the ceiling. One last stretch, coming down and showing our teeth, folding forward. Inhaling, coming back up to centre. Hare Krishna and Namaste. Thank you so 